So we fucking tried sleeping in this building, yeah? And uh, apparently Ricky's assaulted someone, which he definitely has not. PC Nobed over there, PC Nobed over there, came over, grips him up, arrested him, and yeah. All right, no, uh, no, you're the most threatening here. Mate, you can hey, say hey, all hey, you hey. want, he's got it all on film, hey. data protection. Hey. What's your f badge number, bro? Hey. Hey. Yo, I've got Rick, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not resisting, but... Oh, oh, G1233, really oh, G2974. Where's this assault, where's this assault come from? Oh, oh, oh. On the bridge, please. Uh, on the street. This is ridiculous, man. Ricky, no. Good start to the fucking trip. Yo guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to Scotland for six days. Me and five other boys, we're going all the way to Scotland for a few days. We're still currently in lockdown right now and I'm not too sure how smooth it's gonna be. We might get kicked out of Scotland by police. We're basically going on for an adventure. We're going by train, we haven't got a car. We're gonna be on foot in the highlands in Scotland. And we're just gonna see how well we do, to be honest. Tonight we're going up to Manchester. We're gonna meet the little nuisance and Finn. And I'm going out with Ricky, Owen and Housie. It's gonna be a sick trip. As you can see, I've got a mad bag packed. I'm a drunk on the camera. It's gonna be a mad adventure. Hopefully I make a few videos and I hope you enjoy. So, um, I'll see you in Manchester. Just left Manchester, we're on our way to Glasgow right now. It's gonna be about 10 o'clock the time we get there, so we've got some locations where we can actually sleep because we've got hammocks and sleeping bags. So we're just gonna go camp up, have a sleep. Tomorrow we're going to do some training at Glasgow Park or Park, which should be good. Not too sure what the weather's saying because it doesn't look that nice outside. It's been raining all day, but yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna do some mad adventures tomorrow. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you when I get to Glasgow. Yo guys, what's going on? We're currently in Glasgow right now. We just got off the train. It's literally gonna get pitch black in a moment. So yeah, we've got to get a move on, get out of the station and find somewhere to sleep. Hey, it's open, boys. Oh, open. Look open. And right, that's what we love, yeah? Cause you don't pay for trains. Cause in the UK, <laughs> trains are a fucking rip off. Yo guys, what's going on? We are currently in Glasgow at the moment. I'm with Owen, I'm with Ricky, I'm with currently a load of other people. We're gonna go find something. Go to love sleep. you, bro. And then we're gonna train tomorrow, do some parkour and that. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What's going on? Right, we are currently in Glasgow. We was looking for a place to sleep for about an hour. Owen and some of the other boys, they tried going into, what is it, a Premier Inn? Uh, Premier, Premier Inn. Premier Inn, but there was dogs inside. There was security guard. They, did they chase you out? No, well, these boys came across him, but I got out earlier and yeah, oh, you got dogs just started earlier. barking at us. Dogs started barking, so yeah, it was a bad move. But at the end of the road, we saw uni accommodation. Me and Finn ran over. We tailgated the uni guys. We tried sleeping in the sit. We. We tried sleeping in the stairwell, but it wasn't working. So we found out there's a common room in here common and room. a common room. There's sofas. Oh. And so there's carpet as well. We're just going to sleep on the floor and the sofa. So yeah, 
we have patterned our little sleeping pattern also, for tonight. Never forget, yeah. I love you all. One love. All I love around. you. So we fucking tried sleeping in this building, yeah, and uh, apparently Ricky's assaulted someone, which he definitely has not. PC Nobed over there, PC Nobed over there, came over, grips him up, arrested him, and yeah. All right, no, uh, no, you're the most threatening here. Hey, you can say all you want. He's got it all on film. Hey, Date protection. What's your f***ing badge number, can't bro? Can't do it. Can't do it. Yo, I've got Rick. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not resisting. But twelve thirty. G twelve thirty three. Oh mate, I really am. G two nine seven four. Where's this assault, where's this assault come from? Oh, 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 oh. This is ridiculous, man. Bully. Absolute bully. Ridiculous bully, That's what you are. You got bullied in school, innit? And Frank, you bought bullied too, man. Nah, you're the biggest one I've got. Yo! Huh? Uh, what station are you going to? Say that again? Where you where you going? Ricky no. Good start to the fing trip. Yo, what's going on guys? So, that needs a little bit of explanation. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. We found this uni accommodation. We found a nice little area where we had sofas. We could sleep there, so it was all fine. We were sleeping for about two hours, and then some woman comes in, and she, I think she's a rep of the building, because it's COVID-19. It was locked down, the security wasn't there, so we essentially just got woken up by her. She told us, like, she didn't know who we were here for. We just made up a name. Owen was like, oh yeah, we're visiting our friend Jason. They tried finding out who Jason was and we went into the stairwell, started sleeping in there. Then I heard the lift coming up and people coming up the stairs. Uh, shortly after that, I got my stuff together, started to go down. But Ricky was getting like spoken to and Owen got locked in a uh, lift by two fat Scottish girls. <laughs> I went downstairs, I passed one person, she tried blocking me off but I essentially just walked past her arm. She was like, oh police at the bottom, I was like, oh shit, police at the bottom. I went onto the floor where the common room was and then I found this balcony and literally on the other side, you might have been able to see in that earlier clip, but it, that's where the station was, but there was a death drop and I knew even my bag was going down because it was too heavy or I was going down, so I was like, I just can't do that. And then Owen called me, he told me that police were on their way, so I was like, wait a minute, no, she definitely lied to me. The police aren't, ain't there. They're on their way. So I went down to the bottom, saw the fire exit door. It was all clear. Went to the door and someone was standing there. She was like, where do you think you're going? And then she tried grabbing me. I ran past her, ran around some guy. Who was like, she was like, get him, get him. Like he was a dog. Like, literally, she goes, get him. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got chased about half a mile down the road by some random guy with about a 20 kilogram bag on finally went round all the way to the front of the station heard meat wagons two meat wagons got all the way past there then big right police vans i was waiting for a bus or something and then i get a call from finn and Housie, and they're at some park down the road they got out as well so i went and met them then we found a uh, nuisance ricky got released by the police like a couple of hours later guys i understand i got a little bit heated you know, I, look, I, I did look a bit like a bellend, but I had every right, okay? Because they unlawfully... Yeah, Rick, Rick. What, what are you saying, bruv? I couldn't give a mate. You did, you, uh, you did the right thing, man. I did the right thing? Mm. You, did, the you right. did what you could, you know what I mean? Boys, any, any, any reason <laughs> we're in the middle of <laughs> Glasgow, <laughs> it f***ing that works, that are touching the floor. Oh, yeah. And it's bloody raining. Any reason there, boy? And I almost got arrested, by the way. Basically, they unlawfully arrested me. They didn't even read out my rights. And that's something, as a police officer, you have to read out to the uh, suspect, bro. And apparently, the building that we were looking to sleep in or sneak into, we obviously had to run out. Harry, everyone had to run out away from them because they were trying to corner us and just keep us in the building. Obviously, we're not going to stay in the building. So we ran out, got out. Me and Nuisance were trying to find everyone and um, we didn't end up finding them, but we ended up finding the police pretty well. And uh, they come round, absolutely, and as you saw in the footage, did all that, 
and unlawfully arrest me, didn't read my rights and started making up more like false accusations and trying to arrest me on some other bullshit. And apparently I've got caught in the next few weeks. So hold tight for that. You know I'm not going to that. So you can suck your mum's Scottish police. Um, but yeah, we're sleeping in some random place right now. Yeah, they nicked his GoPro actually. Yeah, they took his GoPro because it had footage of them unlawfully arresting me. Um, they didn't know about the phone though, did they? So they're obviously going to delete all that footage. You ain't getting your GoPro back ever. Because anyway, do you know what I mean? Bro, you, they said, how long are you going like, to yeah. get your GoPro back? He said, a year. Really? And then laughed and put down the phone. Mums. <laughs> Hello. Hello, mate. You're right. Yeah, mate. I actually had quite a good sleep. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Alex, for letting me borrow your sleeping bag, mate. Yeah. That's Alex Farrell's sleeping bag. Yeah, mate. Alex Farrell's really, hammock. It's a really good one. He ain't getting it back, bro. <laughs> 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 oh. Rick Wood! <laughs> yeah, bro, you say that. Rick Wood! What's <laughs> up, mate? Alright, backflip. I'll do live life on the edge a little bit. <laughs> Oh, that hurt. That hurt so much.